Here's another example of Venn diagrams. A graduating senior with a GPA, a grade point average, of at least 3.8 is chosen at random to introduce the commencement speaker at graduation. Consider what the Venn diagram would look like. The universe is all students at the school, and then we have two sets within that universe. So what is it that has to happen for a student to be chosen to be the um, graduation speaker? And I see that they have to be a graduating senior and even more refined category, they have to have a GPA of 3.8. So I think the universe, of course, is all the students at the school then set A is going to have to be the graduating seniors because only a graduating senior can give the commencement address. And then B, the other criteria, which is more fine-tuned, is that the GPA has to be greater than or equal 3.8. And I think I have those in the right order, how to write that out in set notation. So set A is going to represent S. I'm calling it S for students, S such that S is an element of the universe, meaning they go to that high school. S is a graduating senior, and that's all we need so far. And then B is going to be S such that S is an element of the universe and is a senior of 3.8 GPA. And when we define it that way, then the only students who are even possibly able to be in set B have to already be seniors. And so that helps us ensure that this B circle really is within the A circle.